So in our last class we have done exercise 1D till the fifth question. First one, fifth main question in that first one. Now we do the second one. The product of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is a irrational number. We have to prove the statement. So the product means it is the multiplication. Here A by B is there. When you take the A by B to the opposite side, it changes. 
materials. Right? So this we have studied in the previous class that we use here to grow. We have taken here A, B, C, D, and also the set of integers. So and when we have multiplied these numbers, then we C, D, and B, A, that also belongs to integers. Then just imagine that a integer in the numerator and an integer in the denominator. So if any integer in the form of A by B, then we call that as a rational number. Yeah. 
meter. Understand? And this angle is 90 degree. Then when you join these two, that value will be root 5. How I am telling you? This much of you all understand because we are using the Pythagoras theorem. According to the Pythagoras theorem, in a right angle triangle, the sign which is opposite to the 90 degree is called as hypotenuse. You have studied this. The sign which is opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of square of other two sides according to the Pythagoras theorem. So here OB square is equal to the sum of square of other two sides means OA square and AB square. Yeah. 
So if you remember the square here, take the square root on the other side and find the square root of 6. So when you write the square root, if you have calculator, you can use. Okay. So square root of 6 value is many numbers you have. 2, 1, 4, 4, 9, 8, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 2, if you write value square root of 6, the answer is 2.449829 etc. It comes. Here it comes. So it is a not the repetition of the same number or not the repetition of the same group of number. So we say that x square is equal to 6 is a irrational number. Second question is x square is equal to 0.009. Zero, zero, 0.02 So this you can write this as 2 divided 
divided by after the decimal point there are two numbers so one zero zero and this is in the form of a by b correct so if it is there in the form of a by b then we say that x y is equals to one zero 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 four is a rational number last one x y is equals to one seven by nine.